What is up, everyone? Matt here from Firebox Cases, fireboxcases.com, at Firebox Cases on Twitter and Instagram. It is Halloween 2020, October 31st, and wouldn't you know, the first knock on my door this afternoon was from a gentleman dressed just like a FedEx delivery man, and he was bringing treats for me. Our CGC uh, graded returns are here, the first sub I've sent with CGC. Um, fully geeked on this company as a grading company. I've mentioned it before. Um, getting these cards back today reinforced that even further from the time they received my cards to the time they arrived in my hands again, 25 days. Um, price is fantastic. That speed is fantastic. The only thing that's lagging behind and is probably going to continue to lag behind for a while is just the value that their grade um, adds to the cards. And to that end, the giveaway for uh, this YouTube video is going to revolve around um, a Facebook group that I created called CGC Graded Trading Cards Buy, Sell, Trade. CGC Graded Trading Cards Buy, Sell, Trade. The first 50 members in that group will be entered into a random to win something from this reveal. You know, I'm, I'm, I don't know what's in these. I haven't looked at the grades. I haven't opened the boxes. Um, so I'm going to figure out what's in here right along with you guys. At the end, we'll pick something to be that, that giveaway. Um, so, you know, check the end of the video. We'll, we'll figure out what cards, uh, will go in there for that giveaway. We'll pick something nice. Um, but the first 50 members in the group will be entered for a chance to win some some card from from this reveal again the name of the group is cgc graded trading cards buy sell trade cgc graded trading cards buy sell trade first 50 members will enter into a random to win something from this sub with that in mind let us get into these boxes um start with this larger box that is bulk Got a little bit different setup today because these boxes are big. Needed a little bit more space um, to operate. As I'm opening this box, just to say, you know, I've watched a bunch of videos. Probably a lot of you guys have if you're finding this one. Um, reveals of the CGC grades. They seem to be grading quite harshly particularly on um, centering. They also seem, at least in from what, what I've seen, it's obviously a small sample, even though I've watched pretty much every video on YouTube about the CGC reveals, but it's um, they seem to find stuff wrong with the, with the surface quite often. Uh, I don't know if I did this right. Uh, this is gonna be upside down. No, that's right. Okay. All right, invoice here. Which way was that guy going? I want to pull him out so that we don't see what we got here. All right. Stack him up. Nothing too crazy. This is not going to be Logan Paul, okay? Opening first edition, uh, base set first edition. This isn't going to be, you know, first edition jungle, anything like that. Nothing big. Um, I don't even recall if there are any Charizards at all of any kind in here. This is just me, just a card guy trying to find his way into Pokemon and trying to do it a little bit cheaply at the beginning. There's always a learning curve to anything and so we're gonna obviously i think that the the cards that i got with subs are going to be a little more instructive hopefully i mean i mean hopefully they get all tens and then that wouldn't instruct me at all but it would be nice for the pocketbook but um anything is particularly with the subgrades is going to be instructive any grades that come back um less than we were hoping or expected let's just get that right all right, let's get started. A nine on Professor Sycamore. A lot of trainers, 
I just decided I just really like the trainers. The artwork on the trainers is always pretty fun. Um, let, I'll put nines here. Uh, anything less than gem, left side. Anything more than gem, right side. A 9-5 Gardevoir EX. That's a cool card. You know, not a huge card by any means. Super shiny. Nice grade. Giovanni's XL. If you think, if you guys think I know the value on these things, you are definitely wrong. I have not been in this game long enough to be able to pull sort of value of these lesser full art trainers and stuff out of my out of my butt. I'm definitely enjoying watching the record sales and all that, but of some of the big stuff and dream. But for now, I just do this easy stuff. One way or the other, it's not gonna kill me. Nine and a half or six and a half. Oh well. We're just gonna learn about the grades. Nice centering. What really was the difference there? Hard to know. Jesse and James for I like that. Hidden Fates. That really reminds me of the of the cartoon back from my childhood. Seeing those two in that anime style. Got Meowth in the background there. Cool card. Another Milo. This one a nine. So let's see if we can learn something here. Yeah. Better centering on that nine fiver. You know, when I sent these. There has, there wasn't a nut, there wasn't as much, there still aren't a many videos out there, but definitely when I sent them, it was still kind of unknown how tough they were being on centering. Um, oh yeah, and the back centering is pretty right heavy. Now, see, in, in this next sub that I'm going to do sometime this week, uh, definitely going to be more picky on that centering. You know, people talk about PSA being easier on the centering. I think that in the in the past has been true, and I've never done enough Pokemon to know if that that's true or not. As far as Pokemon goes, still, I will tell you that in sports cards, they used to be easier on centering for sure. These days, they're as hard as they've as as anyone. They, they, grading sports cards with PSA right now is very difficult, particularly basketball. Um, they're not letting centering off the hook in any shape or form. Um, I don't know if that's translated into their trading cards, but, um, I am going to try some of the stuff that just isn't quite up to snuff on centering. I'm going to hold back and do a PSA. So obviously I'm going to be without those cards for quite a while, but, um, just to see. And I, and some of this nine stuff. I've never, I don't, I don't, I've never cracked a CGC slab. This was the first CGC slabs I've held in my hand. But I think just for the sake of research and to be able to share it with you all, I'm going to crack some of these Niners up out of these CGC cases and send to PSA. And we'll be able to compare and contrast when that comes back. Obviously, that's going to be a slow lesson, um, the way PSA. The way PSA goes right now. Eight months. Probably going to take eight months to get these cards. Insane. Which is another reason that we really need CGC to catch on. Because they will do it right. They do it on a timeline. That's an old card. Ultra Prism? Oh, I guess it's not that odd. But a Niner. Look pretty good. Tough. Molane. What a freaky looking thing. It looks like one of the, it looks like Skeeter from the Muppet Babies. Like grew up into like 
a more of a humanoid. But still, that nose is really weird. Looks like one of the Who's from the Grinch movie. Super weird looking card. Molane. Grim Snarl V Max. You know, we had to get to 50 cards for these for this sub, so you know, I do like a lot. I, I like I, every card I sent. I like, but you know, as far as the as far as the value, are they like really valuable enough to justify sending Grim Snarl V Max? I don't know. It is a V Max, so it's kind of kind of nice, but Grim Snarl. I don't know if there's a big market there. Eternatus. B Max. Pretty nice. Shiny. Mentioned in a previous video that in sports cards in 2020, I'm running 87% um, gems. I can't remember what it is. 195 out of 215 cards sent or something like that. It's not, I'm not bragging about it or any. I'm not, I just only bring it up to say, um, you know, if we got, Pokemon is brand new to me. If, if I could get 70% nine fives or better. I would be happy. So far, I guess that's probably that's about what we're doing. That would be perfect. Sizor Full Art V. And, you know, without subs here, people have said, too, that the label just looks a little sparse. And, you know, PSA will put, you know, they'll put secret, full art. They put all that extra information on their on their slabs, on their uh, label. And when I inputted these, when you input the card, it auto-populates the fields um, once it n knows what, what it is that you're subbing. And they have a place for, like, extra information down at the bottom. And in every single one of these, you know, if it's a full art, I wrote full art. If it was secret, I wrote secret. I, I included that in there. <clears throat> because I wanted them to fill that space and just make it look a little more f filled out, make it look a little more impressive. Um, but they ignored it. Just so, you know, FYI, they ignored all of that extra um, stuff that you will find on the PSA label. So don't waste your time. It ain't happening. Grim Snarl V. Ugh. Oh, easy, easy. Kabu. Got a bunch of rainbows of his for the next one. Uh, I really like that card. I, I, they just look so happy, these guys. Plus that dog looks like a Boston Terrier. And that's my dog. I got a Boston Terrier, so... Oh, okay. There we go. Let's see if we can learn. What did we learn? First place I look for these centerings, whether it's right or wrong, I don't know. I always look on the bottom left corner first. They look similar as far as centering goes. Back centering. Back centering is probably a tad better on the 9.5, for real. It looks like there might be just a little edge nick on that 9. Right over there. It's hard to see. Just so small, though. But yeah, back centering. Definitely better on the 9.5. Back centering is easier to see, I think, than the front centering. Here's nine five Rose nine five. This dapper gentleman. Rose nine five. Blues tactics. That's a cool card. I think anyway. I think that's a cool card. Sweet anime, though. Also, what is this little symbol that he's given? What's this, like? 
thing that he's doing. Like, what's up? I always say hi to my friends, like putting bunny ears on my own face. The channeler. Come on. Grimsley, why? The Pokemon Breeder. I like this one too. This one is kind of like Pokemon Breeder's Nurturing. So happy. So like, give me a little wink there. Yeehaw. Sophocles. Probably front centering here. You know, I've become a little more sophisticated looking at the centering on these as I've watched more videos. I have to be more discerning. And this is just a little, a little right heavy, and it looks like kind of a little bit bottom heavy, more bottom heavy than some. But if it were fixed left to right, that would probably alleviate that. But without subs, you know, it could be something else. You never know. Whoa! Pristine 10, Team Yell Grunt. I'll take it. Snorlax V Max. This is just this is just a really imaginative art, I think, on this card. Like this Snorlax is literally so fat and huge. He's like a planet. There's like a whole like like garden a tree with a I think that's like a red apple growing on it. There's this very cool art on that one. One thing about these tents, other people have mentioned it obviously in their videos, but I think it's I think it's kind of weird. The one thing I think that's a little stingy is that if you don't spring for the subgrades, they will not give you a perfect ten. The best you can get is pristine ten. Whether these subgrades were all tens or whether it was one nine five and three tens, it will always be a pristine ten if you don't pay for the subgrades. So it's a little bit like, oh, okay. I'm gonna wring that extra cash out of us. And it looks like I probably should have paid for the freaking subgrades on a couple of these just to see if we didn't have a perfect Brock's grit. All right, all right, all right. Whoa! That's unexpected. Quite bad. Oh, yikes. Up here in this corner, there's like a whole bent over, like lifted corner up there. That doesn't seem like something I would miss. Really? So sometimes I get a little suspicious that, hey, what'd you do? What'd you do to it? But, you know, whatever. Just a learning moment. That looks like, you know, if you've got... Some of this stuff comes out of the pack with a little bent corner like that. So, you know, let this be a lesson to us. If you've got, a, like, a lifted edge like that, they're going to hit you hard. Misty's Determination Trainer. Another bad one here. Eight fiver. Pretty rough centering. Like, again, if this was, uh, if I sort of, if I knew when I sent these, what I have sort of think I've come to understand now, that would be one that I would reserve for PSA. But at an eight five, there's something else going on here, so. We may never know because we didn't get the subs. So. Oh, another one. This one is better. This one is better centered. So this has to be something going on. Much better center. You can tell mostly on that right hand side. There's more thickness in this one. On the right border. Both eight fives though. Hard to know. Let's 
Man, I did have a lot of these. Nine on this Misty's Determination. Hmm. This one looks a little bit off axis, centering wise. Like the lower left corner looks good. But when you, by the time you make it to the top, it looks thin. Down here, these look right. But by the time you get to the top, thin there, thicker there. And that's a thing that happens. That's pretty bad. You can actually see it. Hard to see in the video. But you can see that it's a little off axis there too. You know, I do recall kind of thinking that. So some stuff went because you just needed to see. You needed to see what they were going to do with it all. You need to learn. Some ex some some lessons are expensive. But not really with CGC. So cheap. Great price. Ooh. Got a little Magic the Gathering in there. It's my friend John. Nicely done, buddy. Nicely done. Another magic. Ooh, Arden Vale Paladin. Nicely done, sir. Another magic. There it is. Nine fiver. Nice stuff. Oh, that's also his. I told him this wasn't gonna really work. Some something I saw on this was bad. 8.5. Oh, I do have a base set unlimited hollow here. Nitto King. 7.5. Cool card. And another Eternatus VMAX. All right, so how do we do? Do that there for a second. How many total? Thirty-eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. 24 gems or better out of 38 on that bulk order. 24 gems or better out of 38. Let's do math. I really got to find a calculator. Sixty-three percent gems or better. So not quite not quite up to snuff as far as uh that all goes. But let's get into this. Subgrades. Okay. Subgrades. Zamazenta V. This is one that I mentioned, you know, the, the gold secret rares of, of Zashin and Zamazenta are just kind of going nuts. They sell really well. Whereas this card is the same art, lagging behind a little bit. Um, just in my head, it feels like something that should be worth more money. So I've grabbed a bunch of them. Oof. So the surface surface oh there's a dent like a little fingernail imprint down here so easy to see but I must have overlooked it the first time oh well Papufini Pulled this myself out of an ETB. Knew it wasn't perfect, but wanted to get, I remember there, so. 
Uh, oh, it's up here. White corner. A little white on that corner. And just that, just so you know, you know, that's, the rest of the corners are, are very strong. So that little nick right there, that'll take you down to a nine. And centering, of course, you know. I'm looking at centering through a little different lens now, so I think we can fix some of that. Ooh, ooh, there it is. There's the perfect air, the perfect air balloon. That's what everyone wants to add to their collection. The perfect air balloon. Nice, perfect tens. The ordinary rod. You know, there are people I've seen a lot of people sub. They could they could have orders much bigger than this and haven't hit it perfect yet. So that's pretty. That's actually very exciting. Very cool. Ordinary rod. Wow. The pristine ten ordinary rod. Lana's fishing rod. Nine centering. Kind of bottom heavy. Oof. Back doesn't look great. I either snuck one by here or that top to bottom, because it's 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 off top to bottom. Left to right is pretty good. You know, this is just one card, of course, so the sample's not big enough. Could be, you know, could be top to bottom centering is a little more forgivable than left to right. I don't know. Would need to have a bigger sample to really know. Hey, there we go. The Rainbow Breeders Nurturing. Cool stuff. Aha. Rainbow Breeders Nurturing. Nice, on a roll. Capture energy. Secret. Turbo patch, cool, cool, cool. Ending strong, not ending strong, decent. Legendary birds rainbow. Nine centering there. I thought that centering was pretty dang good. I remember I thought that centering was so good. Off just a little, I suppose. A little thinner on the bottom than on the left. A little thinner on the left and on the top. But then that corner looks pretty good. That's the thing with Pokemon cards. It seems like they can never square them up exactly. You always gotta, to get one corner one or one side looking good, the other side has to just suffer a little bit. So it never quite looks squared up to me. But surface is what really killed us here. It's hard to catch it in the light, but I think that there's a little, a little lot, like a little bit of the holographic, you know, texture. Got a little gash in it right there. Very small. But I think that's it. Anyway, guys, that's the sub. Um, let's see. There were 50 cards altogether. Seventeen. Seventeen less than gem. Uh so we did 
34% less than gem. So we did 66% gem. That's not bad. That's not bad. First sub, getting to know something new. Um, sort of wasn't as wary of the centering as I should have been. Um, despite all that, 60, what did I say? 66%. I'll take it. That'll work. Bunch of tens in there. Had that perfect. Um, oh, but we got to pick, uh, let's, you know, let's do this legendary bird. 50, the first 50 members in CGC graded trading cards, buy, sell, trade on Facebook. CGC graded trading cards, buy, sell, trade. First 50 members, uh, we will random this card off, um, to those 50. Um, so join up, please. Let's make a, you know, it, it feels like we have to do our part to, to push this product, um, legitimize the grading, legitimize the trust um, that we will place in a CGC holder and their, their grade. Um, if we ever want to get cards back, you know, quicker than eight month turnaround time ever again. So um, if you guys are like me, we want to find an alternative to some of that nonsense the prices keep going up the wait times keep getting longer well not at cgc prices are dirt cheap and wait times are super fast so uh join up cgc grading cards buy sell trade we'll give that away to the first 50 members thank you guys for watching um as always head over to fireboxcases.com if you want to pick up um any uh any case that is portable protection for your collection, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks, guys.